We're back. Day five. It's been a great week of quinoa. We've talked about how to cook it. We've talked about how to eat it for breakfast. We've talked about how to make power lunches. We've talked about how to make super snacks for those little afternoon delights that we want so much. And today, I just want to wrap it all up. I mean, what the heck is quinoa anyway? And why should you care? And where did it come from? Those are the things I want to talk about today. So here's the story with quinoa. First of all, it's not a grain. Quinoa is actually a seed, and it's a relative of green leafy vegetables like spinach and Swiss chard. That's the family that quinoa comes from, and that's why it's so nutrient rich. Beyond the nutritional value of quinoa, which I'll get into a little bit more in a second, what I find most intriguing is where it comes from. Quinoa has been cultivated for over 5,000 years. It, it originated in the Andes region. It's grown at 15,000 feet above sea level. And the Incas used to feed it to their warriors. They prized it as a endurance food that gave their warriors stamina. And isn't that intriguing? I mean, geez, I feel like I'm kind of a warrior when I head out in the day. Hence, quinoa makes me feel powerful. And the Incas knew that. They knew when they fed it to their warriors, they would be powerful and ready to take on any battle that was ahead of them. So here the Incas are. They're growing this gold is what they termed it. And then the Spanish came in and they conquered the Incas. And what did the Spanish do? They burned the fields of quinoa. They said, no more. No more prize in it as sacred. No more feed in it to your warriors. We are going to take over and we say no more quinoa. And so what happened? It became the rebel grain. That's what I love. Quinoa is the food of the rebels, the ones that knew how powerful it could make them. So now that you know a little bit about the history, let's talk about why it's important. Why would we care to eat quinoa for our bodies? Well, we've talked this week a little bit. I've just touched on it, that quinoa is a great source of protein. But what makes it exceptional is not just that it's a protein, but that it's a perfect protein. And what that means is that quinoa provides our bodies with all of the essential amino acids that we need for tissue repair and muscle growth and just basically surviving. Our body needs to intake all essential amino acids. And so eating quinoa, we just know we're kind of getting a vitamin in a bowl. It's phenomenal. In addition to the protein and the quality of protein, you also get fiber. Quinoa is jam-packed with fiber. I think it was in yesterday's episode where I said, just one cup of quinoa, 20% of your day's fiber. So if you're eating a handful of spinach, like one of those recipes that I showed you, or a handful of blueberries in your quinoa, like another recipe I showed you, right there in one bowl, that's 30 to 35% of your day's fiber. And fiber is so important. You know, as a mom, because I'm a mom, I have three kids, and when I put food in front of my family, I'm training them. And so I always make it a point to say, this is good because you're going to be smarter when you eat this, or you're going to be stronger when you eat this. Or I remember when I tried to convince one of my children that asparagus was amazing, I said, do you understand? This is going to make you run super fast because that's what good food does. It equips our bodies and it equips our minds. And so that's why I share quinoa with you. It's not simply to just tell you about some grain that I hope you cook in your kitchen. It's really to help you feel like I want it. It is such a great food. And us women, like I said, I think yesterday, we are serving and we are working and we are toting our kids around and taking them places and we're at sporting events and we're in school and we're, some of us go to work full time. There is so much required of us in our day that we cannot afford to eat anything but super foods. So I'm so glad that you've joined me all week because my mission is to make quinoa become something of your everyday. My mission is to make you, hot mama, a superwoman, somebody that feels empowered and strong and not burdened by the things you take into your body and food, but to feel invigorated and energized naturally. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope that my week of quinoa has given you a love of it. Um, I hope it's intrigued you. I hope that you've been inspired to see that it's one of those things you can keep on hand. Just pull a little bit out every day and incorporate into your meals. And I promise you, the more that you, as mama, eat these things and use quinoa in your day, you're going to feel better and your children are going to see it and your spouses are going to see it and it's going to transform your family. So quinoa is kind of that symbol. And this is my mission. The mission of the Rebel Grain is to make you a superwoman. So thanks for being here. So that is a wrap on quinoa week. I have had such a blast and there's a little bit of loss that it's over. But 
I've had such great feedback. I'm going to keep it going. I'm going to keep the videos coming. I'm going to keep the quinoa tips and the quinoa recipes and other recipes flowing through my blog. So stay in touch with me. I'm really glad that we've connected.